With the next generation of gaming just around the corner, we're taking a look back at the very best of this gen. We recently sat down and discussed the games from 2006 to the present that had the most impact, originality, timelessness, or were just the very best at what they did. Join us as we reminisce the last seven and a half years in the top 35 games of this generation. Number 35, Mod Nation Racers. Mod Nation Racer would be a solid kart racer on its own, but cramming both a track editor and a character and kart creator into the mix makes it an epic experience. Who wouldn't want to race around as Hank Hill on a propane powered tractor? Number 34, Braid. Before Braid, Xbox Live Arcade was filled with re-releases of old games and simple time wasters and shovelware. The release of Jonathan Blow's puzzle platformer opened gamers' eyes to the potential of digital distribution on the Xbox. Braid's time-reversing gameplay and plot, which cleverly toyed with gaming conventions, had made it stand the test of time and earned it a spot on our list. Number 33 Forza 3 Forza 3 is car porn, boasting a wide selection of cars from around the world instead of primarily focusing on one nation's vehicles like that other sim racing game. Forza has something for everyone. Cars can be upgraded and tuned for better performance, custom libraries can be crafted using a simple library editor, and there are hundreds of races to partake in. Forza 3's fantasy tracks are also some of the most stunning tracks in any racing game. Number 32, Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy is from Masochist. Its super short platforming levels require an extraordinary amount of precision and cat-like reflexes. Watching poor Meat Boy fly into saw blades as a result of a mistimed jump will consume much of Super Meat Boy's experience, but few games are quite as rewarding once you find your rhythm and conquer a level. The ridiculous and hilarious cutscenes further incentivize struggling through a few more levels. Number 31, Trials Evolution. With Humble Roots as a Flash game, Trials Evolution expanded insane and grueling courses of the previous games by adding a massive editor to the game. Creative players use those tools to create adventure and shooter games in addition to brutal levels based on Aliens and Silent Hill. Offering such a stiff challenge and packing in such a robust editor makes Trials Evolution endlessly playable. Number 30, Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2 corrected most of the numerous issues with its predecessor, and in doing so became one of the generation's biggest standout titles. With a new protagonist, a new setting, and a wider variety of missions, the eternal struggle between the Templars and the Assassins became far more engaging. History buffs will squeal with joy seeing some of history's most beloved figures popping up in this sci-fi tale, and its successful combat makes it a game anyone can pick up and play. Number 29, Battlefield Bad Company 2.
Bad Company 2 has blown a gaping hole in our chest and nestled its way into our hearts as this generation's best multiplayer shooter. The squad-focused gameplay boasting highly destructible terrain creates an experience unlike any other, and the ability to jump into tanks, helicopters, and Humvees also adds an appreciable amount of depth to the experience. It would be a crime to talk about Bad Company 2 and not mention the Vietnam expansion that completely changed the game and paid homage to one of Battlefield's earliest installments. One thing not worth mentioning, however, is the single player. It was pretty mediocre. But then again, that's not why we play Battlefield. Number 28, Just Cause 2. Without a doubt, the best open world game to create havoc in is Just Cause 2. Armed with a grappling hook and a parachute, Rico Rodriguez is a one-man wrecking crew. Why not use your grappling hook to attach an enemy to a propane tank and let the pressurized gas propel him into the air before exploding. Or, how about use your grappling hook to attach an enemy to a car and watch as he ragdolls across the pavement. Your ability to have fun in Just Cause 2 is limited only by your imagination, and having such a stunningly beautiful playground to ruin is quite a treat as well. Number 27. Spec Ops The Line. While this generation has been oversaturated with modern military shooters, there have been a few standout examples. Spec Ops The Line carved a spot in our hearts by taking its inspiration from Joseph Conrad's The Heart of Darkness, instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger's Commando. By challenging gamers' ethics, making them partake in horrendous atrocities, and giving them a taste of the effects of PTSD, it flies in the face of the easy-to-digest content that many shooters offer. It also features an amazing soundtrack that seems to be inspired by another Heart of Darkness adaptation, Apocalypse Now. Number 26, Gone Home. Coming home after a year-long backpacking trip to an empty house doesn't sound like much of a plot opening for a video game, but Gone Home isn't interested in doing what other games have already done. Emphasizing exploration and narrative over gameplay, uncovering the mystery of what happened to your family is engaging as a result of a cleverly written script. The environment along with journal entries from your character's younger sister uncovers some dark secrets hiding under the green briars and remarkable facade. Number 25, Little Big Planet 2. Sackboy returns in this textile fetishist wet dream. The exceptional platforming madness of the first game returns, as does the all-important editor, allowing you to create your own levels and download other people's creations. The absurd variety of levels that dedicated users have generated means that Little Big Planet 2 lasts as long as you are willing to play it. Number 24, The Last of Us. <laughs> the Last of Us is Naughty Dog's big send-off for the PS3. Crafted with their signature cinematic style, The Last of Us tells the tale of a man who has lost everything after a mutated fungus turns most of the world's population into mindless zombie-like creatures as he escorts a girl named Ellie to a hospital controlled by a resistance group. Mixing stealth and shooting, The Last of Us is an epic journey across the United States that has one of the most memorable and gut-wrenching conclusions of this generation. Number 
number 23, Metro Last Light. Let's move! Stay out of the light and stick to the shadows. They are your best friend. Combining survival gameplay with extraordinary atmosphere and GPU melting graphics, Metro Last Light is an Eastern European tour de force. Taking control of Artyom, a resident of the subway tunnels under Moscow, you fight against communists, neo-Nazis, and mutants in order to ensure the survival of your fellow Metro dwellers. Multiple endings reward those who take their time to explore the dynamic and detail-filled world, a world that leaves a lasting impression on those who explore it. Number 22, Faster Than Light. One part roguelike and one part RTS, Faster Than Light, or FTL, has players making a dangerous journey to deliver intelligence to Galactic Federation headquarters that would clinch victory in an ongoing war with rebel forces. Challenging and addicting, FTL will eat hours of your life away and was once considered the first major Kickstarter success. Number 21. Hitman Blood Money. A game is only as good as its levels, and for that reason, Hitman Blood Money has endured the test of time as the oldest game on this list. Spiking donuts with sedatives, poisoning wedding cakes, blowing up gas grills, and shooting out glass bottom jacuzzis are all things you can do to take your targets out. There are so many memorable moments in this game, and the number of times it can be replayed to uncover new ways to take out your targets is astounding. Number 20. Darksiders 2. Who would have thought the best Zelda game of this generation would come from a developer other than Nintendo? Darksiders offered great dungeons and combat, and the sequel upped the ante with loot and a bombastic score. Also, it's really hard to argue with a game that puts you in the boots of death, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Massive bosses and rewarding side quests round out this massive game as an experience to remember. Number 19, Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 is quite possibly the best co-op experience of the generation with its insane loot, colossal bosses, hilarious characters, and huge lists of quests. On the consoles, it's the next best thing to an MMO. Gearbox's excellent DLC offerings and a higher difficulty setting make this disc hard to pry out of your disc tray. There is no doubt that Borderlands has provided a template for games like Destiny to build on. Number 18. Castlevania Lords of Shadow Victory is the natural objective of every creature on this world. Castlevania in the Third Dimension had never gone along very well, which is why Lords of Shadow was a surprising hit. This lengthy hack and slash game rebooted the franchise telling the story of Gabriel Belmont and how the Belmont clan became the go-to vampire exterminators. With its varied and beautiful locales, excellent voice work, high difficulty, amazing soundtrack, chapter challenges, and puzzle-based levels, it's impossible to be bored during Lords of Shadow's 18 to 20 hours of gameplay. Number 17, Fallout, New Vegas. 
When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. Bethesda revived the Fallout series in 2008, and in 2010 they handed the reins over to Obsidian to develop a follow-up. Having several people who had worked on the original two titles proved to be a major benefit to New Vegas' writing and quest design. Traversing the Mojave as your created courier and balancing your relationship with the game's factions was a massive improvement over the wastes of Washington, D.C. A buggy launch turned many people away initially, but those who stuck around enjoyed a superior experience. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Number 16, Dead Space 2. After surviving the necromorphs on the Ishimura, Isaac's nightmares continued on the Sprawl, a large settlement above Saturn's moon, Titan. Moving Dead Space's survival horror action out of the confines of a mining ship and onto a much more expansive setting makes Dead Space 2 a more traditionally fulfilling game. New necromorphs and brutal new weapons enhance the gameplay, and a savage opening will churn the stomachs of unworthy gamers. Number 15, StarCraft II. StarCraft dominated the RTS scene long after its release in 1998. Twelve years later, Blizzard finally delivered a follow-up that maintained the fast-paced core that defined the original game, but a lengthy campaign, a massive suite of arcade modes, and the all-important competitive multiplayer component made it a robust package. So robust that this follow-up has split into three parts, one for each of the game's races. Number 14, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat has struggled as a franchise centered around the gimmick of gore and fatalities as console generations have passed. With other fighters offering more mechanically satisfying tournament-ready experiences, a ground-up overhaul was due. Boasting one of the best fighting game campaigns, a robust list of modes and fighters, Mortal Kombat has attracted the attention of both fans and fighting aficionados. Number 13, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Studio Ghibli is known for their gorgeous, whimsical, animated films, and it just so happens that their aesthetic translates to JRPGs really well. So well, in fact, that they managed to create the best JRPG of this generation with Nino Kuni. In its Wizard of Oz esque story, Oliver is whisked away to a fantasy world after his mother passes away in the real world in order to stop an evil wizard. It's classic Ghibli and features stunning artwork and challenging gameplay. Number 12, Heavy Rain. Many games tout the ability to choose how to shape your character or the events at hand, but few make such choices meaningful. Heavy Rain bucks this trend by allowing you to experience the most dire consequences of your poor choices. In Heavy Rain, the death of the character doesn't really mean game over. The baton is passed and the plot continues forward. Hunting down the origami killer channels a bit of Silence of the Lambs in Seven, and some of Heavy Rain's elements will be seared into your memory long after the credits roll. 
Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Number 11, Civilization 5. Civilization V, with all of its expansions, may be one of the most complex games as well as one of the oldest franchises to find its way on our list. Managing your cultural, scientific, economic, and military might, as well as espionage, religion, and corporate power, can be maddening at times, but when everything goes according to plan, you get the sublime feeling that you are some sort of FDR Alexander the Great hybrid. That's if that little bastard Gandhi doesn't nuke your empire first. मुझे अभी अभी सूचना मिली है कि हमारे बहुत अधिक सिपाही आपकी सीमा में घुस गए हैं नंबर टेन डेस एक्स ह्यूमन रेवोल्यूशन Bathed in a golden glow, this cyberpunk-informed bit of neo-noir successfully revived the Deus Ex franchise under Square Enix's watchful eyes. Asking Kirchvelian questions about augmentation and integration with technology, this pulpy tale mashed up exploration, gunplay, stealth, and dialogue trees into one of the most engaging and enduring games of this generation. Though the boss battles were lackluster, and the ending missed the mark a bit, it's not hard to admire this exceptional experience. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. Number 9, The Witcher 2. Choice in games often feels binary and arbitrary, but that's not the case in The Witcher 2. Divorcing its choices from the moral strings introduced by KOTOR, The Witcher 2 bathes in the moral ambiguity of its source material. The choices make such a difference in the game that the entire second act branches off into two different areas where entirely different quests can be taken and different characters are introduced to players. Its exceptionally gorgeous graphics and excellent voice acting rounded out this compelling package. Number 8, Rayman Legends. It's hard to imagine that after almost going the way of the Dodo Bird, the resurgence that 2D platformers would have this generation. While Super Meat Boy whetted the appetites of hardcore platforming masochists everywhere, Rayman Legends proved to be the go-to game for everyone else. Its stunning hand-drawn graphics and even more astonishing soundtrack and challenging but not infuriating gameplay allow it to stand among the giants of the genre like Donkey Kong Country 2 and Super Mario World. Number 7. Minecraft. Minecraft is this generation's most successful indie story. Marcus Pearson, aka Notch, began an epic development cycle that incorporated the feedback of his growing fanbase and finally released one of the most innovative and imitated games of this generation. Combining crafting, construction, and resource gathering into a randomly generated world, Minecraft begged players to make the game their own. And after hundreds of thousands if not millions of hours constructing colossal monuments in this game's world, it's safe to say that the gamers have. Number 6, 
Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 successfully borrowed the lighthearted action sentiments and artifact hunting of Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider and channeled them into a very cinematic action game. While light on puzzles, Uncharted emphasized traversing lush natural environments and third-person cover-based shooting. These gameplay sequences were punctuated by huge and unforgettable set pieces. Few players will forget a certain epic train ride that begins on the jungle floor and concludes high atop a snowy peak. Number 5. Dragon Age Origins After developing classic D&D-based RPGs like Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter Nights, Bioware went on a bit of a fantasy game hiatus. In 2009, Bioware took a break from the sci-fi worlds they've been exploring to give us Dragon Age Origins. Presenting a rich and dark fantasy world, Dragon Age chronicles a struggle against the Darkspawn and like Mass Effect, dialogue trees and copious choices concerning your approach to the game's events mold the gamer experience into your own. We must not let ourselves be divided now! Stand with me! And we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Number 4. Bioshock Bioshock centered itself around one of the most influential philosophies of the 20th century and thrust players into the most unforgettable dystopia under the sea, Rapture. Making objectivism its core philosophy, Rapture crumbled as a result of the abuse of a substance called Atom, which turned the citizens into psychos. Boasting an astonishing art deco aesthetic and deep narrative, Bioshock is an experience not easily forgotten. I am Andrew Ryan. And I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. Number 3. Dark Souls Dark Souls channels a bit of the old school with a lot of new ideas. Its steep difficulty, obtuse design elements, and 3D Metroidvania design coupled with a unique take on multiplayer interaction and 3D sword and board combat make it an instant classic. We will never forget our melancholic sojourn through the wooden scaffolding on Blighttown, nor the epic fight with Smog and Ordstein. Few games are as rewarding as Dark Souls. Number 2. Red Dead Redemption Despite rich themes and content practically tailored for video games, the Old West has not been host to many great games. Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption stands head and shoulders above games like Call of Juarez and Gun, delivering not just an engaging slice of the Old West to mosey around in, but a tragic and epic tale of a man trying to redeem himself while the world moves into a new era. Red Dead channels a bit of Sam Peckinpah and a bit of Sergio Leone, culminating into one of the greatest games of this generation. Number 1. Mass Effect 2 I am a biotic god. 
I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am by Athens' fate flesh. Mass Effect 2 continues the epic space opera centered around Commander Shepard and his struggle to stop the Reapers. Cultivating your relationships with the various crew aboard the Normandy between missions feels natural and rewarding in a way that few games are. Camaraderie is everything to Shepard, whose battle prowess and exceptional leadership qualities drive the series forward. Excellent quests and fantastic writing make the most out of every dramatic event and make this the quintessential sci-fi RPG experience. With Mass Effect 2, BioWare had crafted their very own Empire Strikes Back. Who are you? You've got two ways, Den. Express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right... <laughs> How about goodbye? Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and we'll continue to review games for the next generation.